fires, riots, 9-11, uh, 08, you know, the pandemic, uh, oil spills, hurricanes cannot stop the, the market. Transactions are going to happen every single day. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Overthinking and overcomplicating things really holds a lot of people back. But, you know, on, on your on your point of, you know, this year and the job loss and the this and the that and the different things that have happened this year, man, if this year didn't prove to everyone in the universe that real estate is such a resilient industry, 80% of the same amount of closings were happening this year during the shutdown when you couldn't have human to human contact as it was last year. I mean, and not only that, the, 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 the amount of properties that were going under contract were still 80% on average across the country. I mean, 80% of the same amount of deals when there's not even human to human contact and one of the most scariest moments we've seen in the past hundred years, nothing like fires, riots, 9-11, uh, 08, you know, the pandemic, uh, oil spills, hurricanes cannot stop the, the market. Transactions are going to happen every single day, regardless of what happens. And if this year wasn't a testament to that, then I don't know what was. And if it doesn't give you the uh, the enthusiasm and the the uh, you know the the excitement to be in this business, you know, moving forward and realize that okay, you know, it's not going to stop. You know, there's not a scarcity, right? There's no, there's not. If anybody walks in 2021 with a scarcity mindset, then you weren't paying attention to 2020. You know, this, this, and, and when the economy opened back up, the market exploded and it's still exploding. Um, 2021 is gonna be an incredible year. Um, even if we see some kind of flattening out, let's just say some kind of flattening out for some reason in terms of transactions, in terms of prices, that's still going to be, we're still, if you're out there doing what you need to do, right? Whatever the market does has really nothing to do with you, right? It really has nothing to do with you, right? You're the only one that kind of dictates there, there's the market and then there's your market, right? There's the, there's the entire market and then there's your business and your market because the, the, the industry is so large and we're literally not even a microscopic dot within this huge industry in terms of the size of volume and number of transactions. Even in your, even in your local market, it's massive. Like if you look at how many billions probably of real estate is sold in your market, you know, on a yearly basis, um, you know, it, it, how many millions and possibly billions of dollars sold just in your market and all you, you're just trying to sell five, 10 million a year. You know what I mean? Out of this massive, massive bucket of volume and transactions, you know? So even if that massive bucket reduces by 50%, 60, 70%, 80%, 80%, we're down 80% transactions and volume next year. That's not going to, it may, I may change up what I'm doing and have a different, you know, I may be saying different things to my clients and trying to help them through because that would be a devastating moment, but I would still close the same amount of properties. You know, this year's been crazy because March, no sales. Normally sell 25 deals, no sales, right? Two, two deals, I did two deals. The hurricane, and even after that, the market exploded and it looked like, okay, I'm gonna have the best year ever. Is I'm on a roll to have the best year ever. Then the hurricane hits my area. No deals, absolutely none for three weeks, zero. Then I do a clip, a couple, a couple, and I'm like, okay, it's it's late in the the year. It's late in the year, and and maybe I'm not gonna hit have my best year ever. Now all of a sudden, I'm looking at my clothes, my pendings, well, everything going on. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm fixing to have a 1.1, 1.2. I've never hit 1.1. It's always been a million, you know, a million 50, a million 20, a million whatever, a million 60. Never 1.1. This year, I'm definitely, uh, I'm going to hit, I'm going to ring a bell and, woo, you know, <laughs> whenever I hit the 1.1, um, because I think I'll hit it here in like a week or two. And that's going to be the uh, the mark of my best year ever during all this crazy stuff with the momentum going into 2021. So absolutely, absolutely.